Hi, I'm Brian Maloney, the winemaker for Deloche Vineyards, and I'm here in our state vineyards with Eric Pooler, our director of wine growing. Hello. And we're here with our 2012 Green Valley Pinot Noir. Um, the Green Valley is one of our favorite appellations to work with, and we have some great partner growers that go back now almost a decade um, with us making this wine. Eric, you want to talk a little bit about them? We do, yeah. We've got uh, we've got some really interesting uh, interesting partners in this area. The appellation itself is interesting. It's it's located kind of on the far uh, western edge of the Russian River Valley, and, and it's unique um, both in terms of climate and soils, primarily Gold Ridge soils, and, and a much cooler climate than a lot of other parts of the Russian River. Our grower network in that area includes um, uh, a really, really um, uh, large personality and, and quality-oriented grower, Anita Rodero, who, uh, who manages the Swicegood Vineyard and that year managed the Ferguson Vineyard, um, two of the components in this wine. And the third vineyard is, is uh, the Jaberti Vineyard, which is located kind of um, in the Harrison Grade area of Green Valley. It's unique in the sense that it's, it's protected by a, a small ridge of mountains and, uh, and the climate is more of a banana belt there. So we're able to push that vineyard and obtain um, stem lignification more so than in other vineyards. Yeah. So all these individual vineyards, we, uh, we pick separately, ferment separately. The Jaberti Vineyard, as Eric was talking about, we're usually able to achieve good stem lignification and therefore do some whole cluster fermentation. Um, along with that whole cluster fermentation, comes uh, that spiciness and that textural element that we look for in great Pinot Noirs. Um, it really comes down to the farming of these sites though. As Eric was talking about, they're, they're cool sites and they can be challenging. Um, and we're lucky to have a great set of partner growers so that we can make absolutely delicious wines like this. Uh, to me, the Green Valley really, it speaks about the soil that you have and that coolness. And so you see a lot of minerality in these wines, as well as a beautiful kind of red cherry fruit characteristics. And uh, I think this is a Pinot Noir where those high tone fruit characteristics and that textural element really makes it a special wine to enjoy on its own, um, but also rewards uh, all sorts of different dishes. And so uh, enjoy everyone. Green Valley Pinot Noir 2012.